Hi Gemini, this is your July 11th through July 17th weekly tarot reading. I do five separate spreads in my weekly reading. So I have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage. I'll do an X spread. We'll talk about your work, your business and your finances and we'll see what you're not expecting to happen this week. Please like, share and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have the Emperor, clarified by the Four of Wands. We have the Ace of Pentacles, clarified by the Ace of Swords. We have the Nine of Pentacles. In the potential outcome, we have the Wheel of Fortune with uh, the Chariot and the Hierophant. And we also have the Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries um, or a Water Sign, Cancer Scorpio or Pisces or a Taurus or pretty much any Zodiac sign. Well, I got to be honest with you. Uh, Gemini. The first thing that came out of my mouth once I was done laying down the cards and I looked them over, I said, wow. <laughs> it truly is a wow spread. A very serious person is about to enter your life. Um, the Emperor, that is. The very first card that came out, the Emperor, that is the person entering your life. This person is dead serious about you. They're not going to take no for an answer. And the, the phrases I keep hearing is um, the phrases I keep hearing, um, up to the challenge, up to the task, somebody who is finally on your level, Gemini, however that resonates with you, somebody who is finally on your level. Yep. Uh, the Emperor is the personal Aries card, by the way, you could be dealing with an Aries, but the Emperor often comes through as uh, a future husband or a future significant other figure. Um, the Emperor is large and in charge. The Emperor does not take no for an answer. The Emperor does not fool or play around. No. Um, the Emperor is clarified by the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is uh, one of the commitment or marriage cards in the tarot deck. Some people call it the 1111 card. So that's what's on this person's mind. That's what they're dead. They're focused on this. That's what they want with you. And uh, you will very quickly. Um, Realize that's what they want because they're gonna tell you. <laughs> we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Swords. Got two Aces in the same spread, one clarifying the other. This barely ever happens. The Ace of Pentacles often comes through as a proposal. Well, I don't know if they're gonna propose to you this week, but that's what they want, right? And uh, like I said, they will communicate it to you. The Ace of Swords is a very straightforward, very direct conversation this person will have with you and they're going to be talking to you about the Ace of Pentacles and the Four of Wands and also the Knight of Cups and actually the rest of the spread. That's what they're going to be talking to you about, right? Very determined individual, very determined, right? The Knight of Cups on the bottom of the deck all the way to your right, it could be a water sign, this Emperor could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, or the Knight of Cups is all about love. This is the most romantic night out of all friend nights. So this person is not going to be just all about business. I want you, I want you right now. Let's get married tomorrow. No, they will do it in a very romantic way. So expect flowers, expect them taking you out to dinner and all those good things, right? <laughs> uh, the Knight of Cups is, um, is the Knight of, in the Shining Armor. Right then, there you are, Gemini, in the middle of this uh, spread. Right there in the middle, the Nine of Pentacles, that is you. Um, this is a single person card, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who knows their worth, somebody who is doing great financially. You're doing great, you're doing awesome, and you wouldn't settle for anybody. And that's why I keep hearing somebody finally on your level. You know, this person will definitely resonate with you, right? So you're not going to be so single anymore, Gemini. All right, we have uh, the Wheel of Fortune with uh, the Chariot and the Hierophant and the uh, Potential Outcome. Every single card in the Potential Outcome is a major Arcana card. Every single one of them, right? Two of them represent forward movement. One of those two represents a victory and the third one represents marriage. Whenever I see cards like that in the potential, it's not really a potential, Gemini, all right? <laughs> and uh, I know what I'm not going to do for you. I'm not going to do an extended for you because that would be a waste of time. Anyway, the Wheel of Fortune is the two of you taking it to the next level, right? Starting a new cycle on the next level up. The Wheel of Fortune is always good news in my spreads. Uh, the Chariot is the personal cancer card, by the way, but the Chariot is a card of moving forward, not looking back. It's a card of victory. It's a card of success. 
It's a card of a triumph. For some of you, you could be traveling together with this person because the Wheel of Fortune could also be a travel card. Or when, and I'm not saying, I'm not saying if I'm saying when the two of you decide to move in together, you could be relocating. You could move in together in another neighborhood, another city, another country, what have you. But again, together those two cards represent forward movement in a very powerful, very decisive way. And I believe this built this energy belongs to both of you. The Hierophant is the personal Taurus card, by the way. You could be dealing with the Taurus, but uh, the Hierophant is a card of something traditional like a committed relationship or marriage. And that was the last card that came out. And it makes total sense with all the other cards in the same spread. I like it. I like it a lot, Gemini. This person is very determined. They're very straightforward, very honest. They're serious about you. And they're also very loving with that Knight of Cups. You see, it's like you're getting the best of both worlds. This person is uh, a jack of all trades. Definitely marriage material. <laughs> Somebody finally on this, on your level. Again, however you want to interpret that. Really happy for you, Gemini. Congratulations. Gemini, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the world, we have the king of pentacles, we have the eight of wands, clarified by the page of pentacles, and uh, we also have the page of swords on the bottom of the deck. I think you're going to have a visitor, Gemini, or you could be going somewhere. Those pages could either be uh, messages or it could be children. It could be your children, it could be your siblings' kids, your friends' kids. There's definitely travel in this spread, and uh, like I said, it could be you with your children traveling or somebody is coming over to stay with you. Or perhaps your family and somebody else's family, you're going to have like a huge vacation with, uh, <laughs> with adults and a bunch of kids traveling somewhere, right? The world, the first card I came out, um, in this case, I think this is some place remote, right? The 801s, right next to the deck, is a card of travel. Right, and uh, the King of Pentacles, it could be your significant other if they are an earth sign, or if you have an earth sign in your family, or if you have um, a friend who is an earth sign, it, it could be them, right? And like I said, uh, those two pages either are children or messages. Uh, perhaps this King of Pentacles is coming over to stay with you, you know, whoever that person is. Um, so hopefully, all of you can uh, have a good time. All right? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, uh, Gemini, this week. Keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Eight of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Moon. Uh, we have the Two of Swords, clarified by Death. And we also have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Scorpio or any Zodiac sign. As a matter of fact, uh, whatever their zodiac sign is, there is absolutely nothing here for you, Gemini. So whoever comes back from the past, uh, <laughs> it feels kind of heavy. It's just, it's it just looks it feels wrong to be honest with you. And I think you you know what I'm when that person shows up, you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, somebody will make an attempt to get back together with you. With uh, the Eight of Cups, the first guy that came out, uh, this is somebody coming back to you, in this case. Um, the Page of Pentacles, this is what they bring, literally. They will literally be bringing something. If they owe you money, they will pay you back, or at least uh, start paying you back. If um, They may give you some kind of a sentimental gift to kind of remind you of the good times the two of you used to have together, right? The Page of Pentacles is always something tangible, something you can touch. So do expect something, something physical, in a box, in a jar, in an envelope, <laughs> I don't know, in a basket, right? The Moon, the next card over is the personal Pisces card, you could be dealing with a Pisces, but the Moon is a card of uh, secrets, you know? So this person still is still hiding something from you. The, the, probably the reason why they're coming back. They're not telling you the whole truth. I'm sure they will have a sobby story to share with you, but they're not uh, telling you the whole truth. Right? The Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Um, the, I think this is them deliberately trying to confuse you um, because they're hiding something from you. And then we have the Two of Swords classified by Death. Death is the personal Scorpio card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. Or... Death is uh, you just 
putting it back to rest. You're sending this person back to the past where they belong. Right? The Two of Swords is a card of a crossroads, but most likely the Two of Swords is a card of uh, you not opening up to this person, you, not, you remaining closed off and uh, preferring to just live it and don't even bother with it anymore. Because like I said, this, this just, it doesn't feel right. Okay? Good. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Gemini. This week we have the Four of Cups, uh, clarified by the Four of Swords. We have the Eight of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Pentacles, and we also have the Magician on the bottom of the deck. Um, an interesting uh, spread, Gemini. Um, I can interpret this two different ways. If you applied for a job recently and they rejected you, they will have a change of heart for whatever reason. You'll be hearing from them they'll apologize and say the job is yours. If that happens, ask for more money. <laughs> Seriously, I think you should. Ask for a bonus or ask for something. Shares of the company and I think they'll give it to you. For others of you, um, perhaps you got two job offers or you got a job offer and uh, you're gonna be rejecting one of them if you got two job offers. Or perhaps your existing employer, once you tell them you're leaving them, they will uh, give you a raise or something. This spread is actually really good. You know, you end up with a lot of money. <laughs> Plain and simple. Alright, so the Four of Cups, the first card that came out, this is a card of a rejection. Right, and that was the first card that came out. So it was either a company rejecting you if you were applying for a new job. Or if you have uh, two offers on the table, it could be from two different new companies or one from a new company and the other one from your existing company, then you're saying no to one of them. And you're going to go with the one that gives you more money. <laughs> okay? um, the Eight of Pentacles in the middle is a card of work, business and finances. And the Knight of Pentacles right next to the deck is the Knight that comes with a lot of cash. It's a it's a, always a really decent chunk of change with that Knight of Pentacles, right? The Magician on the bottom of the deck, this is how they see you. Um, they think of you as the Magician. You can make anything happen. Even if they rejected you the first time around, right? They're changing their mind about you. Perhaps they did further research or if uh, they hired somebody and that somebody turned out to be a nobody, you know, and then they went back through, through the interview notes and they were like, oh my god, we made such a mistake. Look at this Gemini. This Gemini is uh, much better. Right, so they're going to come back to you with the Knight of Pentacles and offer you money. And like I said again, ask for more. <laughs> and they will give it to you. Alright? Cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, Gemini. We have uh, the High Priestess, clarified by the Page of Wands. We have the Sun. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles, clarified by the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands. And we also have the Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. This spread right here could be about love or it could be about work, business, and finances. Let's talk about work, business, and finances first. This Queen of Wands wants to do business with you or this Queen of Wands wants to collaborate with you. They want to partner up with you. They want to create some kind of an alliance with you. right? The Two of Cups on the bottom of the deck. In this case, uh, this is my handshake card. So again, an alliance, partnership, business, whatever. Right? Um, the first card I came out is the High Priestess. I don't usually clarify the High Priestess, but this time I, I kind of felt like doing it. <laughs> and it's clarified by the page of Wands. This is a message. A message coming from this Queen of Wands, right? Uh, the Queen of Wands could be a fire sign, a Leo in particular, because we have the Sun right there in the middle. The Sun is the personal Leo card, but when it comes to work, business, and finances, the Queen of Wands could be a colleague or a business partner, or a potential colleague or a potential business partner. The Knight of Pentacles is what they bring to the table. Uh, the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Three of Cups and the Queen of Wands, right? The Knight of Pentacles is, a, is an amazing business deal where everybody is going to make a lot of money, or this partnership that this person is offering is rock solid, rock solid long term. Right? The Knight of Pentacles always talks about long term. The Three of Cups 
is a card of a union, right? So you guys are going to be partnering up, uniting, or perhaps this person is going to invite you to some kind of a business event or a conference, or perhaps you are already going to a business event or a conference, um, or something like that, right? So yeah, when it comes to work, business, and finances, what you're not expecting is this Queen of Wands offer something solid, something long-term, something that will last. All right. If this is about love, then what you're not expecting is uh, this Queen of Wands to um, want to be with you. <laughs> you know, <laughs> male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. This Queen of Wands could be a fire sign: Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. So Leo, in particular, the Sun is the personal. Leo card, but it could be any fire sign. And uh, this person, yeah, they, they, they want you, Gemini. All right, the Knight of Pentacles is, is the slowest knight out of all four knights, so they thought this offer through, and they do mean business. The Two of Cups, in this case, is a card of a soulmate connection, right? It's a card of unconditional love, uh, the Page of Wands. Uh, the first card on the left is a message coming from them, so perhaps they're going to invite you to uh, a party, event, gathering of some sort with the Three of Cups. And that, when the two of you get together, uh, that's when they'll start this conversation about uh, the two of you um, getting serious. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, that's what I have for you, uh, Gemini. Um, if this video resonates with you, please like it, please also share and subscribe, and other than that, Gemini, have an amazing week. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing, and subscribing.